Create, submit, and forget. Heard that on taxi forums back in the day. Yo, that's the that's the best thing you can do. Best thing you can do. So, so the 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 pitching phase. My camera off focus. How do I get? How do you focus me, Sony? Focus my eyes. Not. Have I, have I been off focus this whole time? There we go. It was the water bottle. All right. So we check in. So so after for a while, yes, I found more companies, but I wouldn't call them notable companies. That made me skeptical trying to figure who's creditable and who's not definitely understand that so now that's another thing that you know i kind of go in detail with on, on the roads and placements how to find companies that are credible so this is this is how you can tell number one how long have they been in business like if they just popped up this year we keep it moving um, they've been around for a few years you know they have clients with you know notable networks and supervisors and brands and things like that you know they showcase their placements they have their music on the website and they've probably been around for a while they're you know they're doing their thing now you can never be a hundred percent sure if you know if they're going to be around long term because things happen i mean these libraries pop up and they, they go out every year it's, it's, it's crazy but never know until you until you try until you submit so i would say to that is just like don't don't overthink it go through their website if you got to hop on the phone with them and ask them yo when was like the last time y'all placed something? The last time they played something was like, like three years ago. Then, bro, I'm like, yo, that's way too long. And you're supposed to be a publisher. Like, this is what you do. If it's taking you three years to get another placement, got to keep moving. So probably not a good company to work with. They're like, yo, yeah, we just placed a bunch of stuff. They're having a hard time keeping up with the placements that they've been getting. And they're, they're probably working. They're putting in that work. That's what you want. You want companies who are like active, actively pitching and things like that on your behalf. You're probably ready to start trying to get TV placements, but you just don't know the next step to take. So I want you to download my free sync producer quick start guide, which is going to help you do that. It's going to give you the steps and it's going to give you resources to get you started on this journey. So just go to clintproductions.com slash free guide or click the link in the description and download that free sync producer quick start guide. And on the flip side, you know, once you do get into a library and you start submitting, going back to that system and that consistency, you have to submit consistently to really see results, man. Because like first 10 tracks, they, you know, one or two may get placed. All of them may get placed. You don't know. If you create a consistent schedule to submit to a company, say, at least weekly, bi-weekly, whatever, whatever you can do, depending on the time that you have, you're going to increase the chances of something actually landing going to increase the chances of music being seen and heard because if they see you're consistently submitting like people notice that so a lot of these companies a lot of these companies are small and you know there's like a few people who you know a couple people who's checking the emails listening to the music so it's not hard to stand out if if you're consistent and you're submitting consistent quality music it's going to help you stand out man they're going to be like look like this dude's putting in work and they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna put in work for you man they, they're gonna throw your stuff in some playlists because they know yo this guy has quality stuff like he's always submitting like they're gonna want to get you some placements that consistency is gonna be gonna be key michael connor says could it be that newbie companies might might be more hungrier for success whereas long-term established companies could be more complacent because they're getting work all the time that could very well be true as well you could get in with the newer company they could be hungry and they're going in so you know and again you can try it if it works double down on what works new company if they're, if they're in placements hey ride it out every company has to start but wouldn't worry too much about it man submit a few tracks and then once you see something you start seeing traction use tunes.com to uh, track your your you know things that that you've signed to companies I'll type that in the chat and then this will give you an idea of like of what's working. So then once I see a placement from a, a company, I'm like, oh shoot, like I just did an album for a publisher last year. It hasn't, it hasn't even been a year. And I, I've seen those tracks on like at least five shows so far. So I'm gonna reach out like, hey, let's get another, another album. So something to keep in mind.